Hey, Stampin' Friends, it's Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen, and it is time for Movie Monday. So hopefully some of you all are out there and will be joining me this morning. Um, I am on my YouTube channel, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on the East Coast here. I know that's early for some of you, but if you are hanging out with me, come on in, say hello. Let me know that you guys are here and where you're joining me from. So I come on to my YouTube channel on Monday mornings. Sorry about the glare. It's a little bit rainy. And so I do have to have some lighting on here in the studio today. Um, we just don't have a lot of natural light today here in Pennsylvania. So I am here on Monday and I always try to share a very quick and cute card with you guys. So today we are going to share, let's see if I can get the glare away, uh, my heartfelt hexagon bundle. It's got a coordinating stamp and then it has this amazing uh, stamp set with the, the uh, shapes and some great sentiments and a couple little little fun hoochie wetsies there to uh, add some extra embellishment. So I played with this a little bit over the weekend. It's one that's been sitting on my shelf for a little while. And some of you guys may be saying, hey, what catalog is that in? And I will say, hey, no catalog. So this is actually a sneak peek bundle. It came out a little bit early for World Card Making Day back uh, the beginning of October, and it is sticking around. So it's what we call an online exclusive, but you will actually see it in the next mini catalog coming up in January, but you can still get it now. Um, all you need to do is hop over to my online store. I'll, I'll run it across right there. There's my host code that you can use, and you can uh, snatch this little bundle right now. But what I really want to talk to you all about is this set of gorgeous designer series paper. It's called Delightful Floral. Uh, it is a 12 by 12 pack. And again, it's another one that is not in any flyer, no catalog. This is a special exclusive online. So you can find that in my online store as well. It is only around while supplies last. And it is very, very pretty with all these bright, uh, pop of color here. So I have been using it. I've been loving it all up. Yes, I actually do cut my paper. So if you guys are out there and you are a certified paper hoarder, it's okay. I used to be as well, but I learned how to cut my, my paper and make fun projects and send them off to my friends and family and feel even better about it than hoarding all the packs of paper just because I think it's too pretty to cut. So anyway, this is what I'm down to. This is all I have left of this pack of paper. So you will see this coming around a couple more times with some classes that I'm doing starting here in November. So stay tuned for that. You are going to see it quite often. But what I'm going to do here on my YouTube channel is do a series from these exclusive papers. So we have... Uh, a couple of them, maybe four or five that are released while supplies last. One of our Christmas ones is sold out, but there are some other ones online exclusives only. And this is because we did not do a second celebration this year. We went to one celebration, but some of these papers were already planned. And so we did release them ahead of time. So here's the bright, fun colors on the front. And it does coordinate with a stamp set uh, called translucent florals. Do I have it here? I do. So here is the bundle that it does coordinate with. Okay, so you can find this in the holiday catalog, translucent florals. There's the die set that goes with it. I haven't really loved up on this one just yet, but I did play with the paper. And that's what I want to make sure that you guys see because I don't want you to miss out on it. So let's flip it over to see what the other side looks like. It's kind of just watercolor wash in all different shades. So peacock, bubble bath, calypso coral. Um, this might be lemon lime or parakeet party, not quite sure. Uh, berry burst, and this one is pool party. So nice, nice water watercolor wash here if you just like the plain or nice bright in your face on the other side. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with that. And I'm gonna show you this really quick and cute card I created. Here we are with some nice bright colors. So as we start to head into fall and winter, things are going to start to get dark and gray. And so it's fun to have nice bright pops of color. So I've got Parakeet Party as my card base. And we're going to fold that in half. 
and I will have the dimensions in the description. So all you need to do is just scroll down and you will find the dimensions so you can make this card at home. So I took a bit of very, no, berry burst and pool party and we're gonna create a layer there. Now you could use the pool party designer series paper if you wanted to. And that's what I did on my first project. It's a little bit lighter. So this one is the pool party DSP is this layer right here. But because I'm running out and I've got a class planned around this, I didn't wanna use up all of my paper. So we're gonna go with regular cardstock here. So we will add that to our card base. There we go. Then I have the designer series paper. So I did a different pattern. This one, these are a little bit bigger flowers. These are a little bit smaller. So I have a bit of the patterned paper and we're gonna add that to another layer of the berry burst. And I did these tiny little borders here and I know some of you are probably rolling your eyes because Sometimes those little one eighth borders can be annoying, but I like them. So I'm going to use this dual pack of ribbon. So this this uh, ribbon does come together. It's in our annual catalog, but I'm going to go with the parakeet party. This might I don't know parakeet party or lemon line. I'm, I'm not 100% sure which color it is, but regardless, it works perfect for this particular card. And it's got a little bit of stitching in there, which is fun. So I just need a tiny little bit. And I'm going to wrap that around this space. So put some adhesive down there and just tack this around. So we're ready to go like that. But I want this layer to be pop dotted. So we're going to add some pop tarts here. All right. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful weekend. It was gorgeous here this weekend. We had like 80 degrees. My husband um, cooked outside. He smoked a um, pork, pork shoulder and we had some grandparents over and we sat outside and had dinner on Saturday because we figured it was going to be one of the last warmish days we're going to have for quite some time. So it was pretty sweet to have 80 degrees. We did a little bit of Stampin' Bingo Saturday morning, which is always fun. All my online friends and some of my in-person friends joined me for that. So I will be doing another one coming up during celebration. So stay tuned. I call it Zingo, which is Zoom Bingo. So stay tuned for that. If you guys like to play bingo, and you like Stampin' products, you want to make sure that you join us for some Zingo coming up in the new year. All right, little bit of, oh, which color did I grab? Okay, we have very, I want to call it very berry, and it's not. It's berry burst. Okay, so I'm going to stamp my sentiment first on a piece of basic white. I like to stamp my dark first. That's one of Jody B's tips today. I'm a bifocal babe, so sometimes I have a hard time deciphering those light colors on like cardstock. So I like to stamp the dark color first. It just helps me a little bit visually so that I can line things up a little better. So we've got our center there, and then we're gonna take the outline and do that in pool party. Just kind of get that centered there. And we have a cute little border. I love this stamp set. I really, really do. More than I thought I would. Now, of course, we're going to punch upside down because then we can see to line it up. And then we'll just give it a good old punch here. There we go. Take some dimensionals again and add that to our back. I told you guys this would be a quick and cute card, but is just perfect for whatever, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings. Um, this one could be Valentine's even, Valentine's Day is coming up. And we do even have a little heart in that one. 
So we'll add that right over top of our ribbon. Then I took a little bit of that ribbon. I'm just going to slide it under here and tie ourselves a bow. And you know what I did not bring today? I did not bring any bling. I did not bring the bling. And I always say everything's better with bling, but I didn't grab any today. That's an easy add, right? You can just kind of look at your stash of bling and see what you think might work best for this card. And sometimes, you know, bling, bling can be left off if you have it really busy. And that was one thing that I kind of thought with this project, especially this paper, it's very busy. So the bling could get lost on there. Okay, so there are our two projects. Super cute, right? I love it. So you can see how much lighter this pool party designer series paper is than the cardstock. The cardstock really kind of has a pop just a little bit more. So hopefully you love that one. You can scroll down and see the dimensions and you guys can make these at home. And then before you head out, one thing I really want to make sure of, we are already October 30th today, you guys. We are rolling on through October. Tomorrow, October 31st, our starter kit special ends. So we've been celebrating 35 years in business. Uh, Stampin' Up! has this whole past year. And so we do have our starter kit on sale. 35% off or 35% more in your kit. 35% off, you guys, means you are paying $64.35 for $125 in product. That's insane. Then if you want more, you're going to pay $99 and get $168.75. All your choice, you guys. Whatever you want is what you can put in your starter kit. So if you want all cardstock envelopes and adhesive to get you ready for Christmas, you can do that. Uh, you could get yourself a new die cut machine if you want with the big, the bigger 35% more. Um, you could get anything. Bundles, paper, ribbons, gems, adhesives, whatever you want the sky's the limit. So I just want to make sure you all are aware of that because the offer does end Tuesday, October 31st. So if that's something you want to chat more about, please talk to the demonstrator you work with or reach out to me. We are here to help you and answer any questions you might have. So I've had a lot of people take advantage of this and join my Movilist Stampers team, which is awesome. So not only are they getting more bang for their buck. They are also now getting their 20% discount every single time they order. So it's like going to Kohl's and always having Kohl's cash, right? So anyway, I wanted to make sure that I didn't leave without telling you guys that. The other thing, um, I don't have a flyer, but I want you to mark your calendar for November 6th through the 10th. That's Gratitude Week in the studio. I will be here live every single day with lots of projects for you guys, some daily giveaways, a grand prize, a special offer and an adhesive sale. It's kind of my customer appreciation event virtually. So November 6th through the 10th, Gratitude Week, um, YouTube and um, Facebook, it'll run on. So thanks so much for joining me, you guys. Have a wonderful week. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell. You can change your notifications. So when I'm on, you'll receive an alert. And then mark your calendar for Wednesday, 10 a.m. Eastern time. I will be back. And what are we doing Wednesday? Christmas cards. So I have my Christmas stamp a stack classes tomorrow, and then I'm going to come live with that class on Wednesday. So you all get to see what we made. And um, I do have some classes available. I have some extras. So thanks so much, you guys. Have a great week. See you later.